Welcome back to the Empire of the Isles, a rich Victorian-inspired fantasy world with a distinct style and an exotic cast of characters. For Dishonored 2, we wanted to explore a new location, Karnaka, the jewel of the south. Our approach to world creation is very layered. Our art and design teams work together to create a strong sense of place with a well-realized culture. It's based on the people living there, the work they do, the architecture, economy, the climate, even the food and songs. In order to bring Karnaka to life, we've created a custom game engine designed to support our signature art direction and level design. We wanted Dishonored 2 to resemble a painting in motion, so we've given considerable thought to our lighting and the way it plays across every surface. We've created custom tools to support the interruptible real-time narrative scenes necessary for a stealth simulation. And the same is true for our approach to audio, both in terms of atmospherics and stealth gameplay. All of these details make Karnaka more vivid thanks to our new technology, which we call the Void Engine. In crafting spaces for you to explore, we've got several creative goals. We want the environment to feel coherent and complete, plausible. Where do these characters live and how do they get to work? Is there a, vi a viable pathway that makes sense? Where do they take their breaks or stop for lunch? But it goes further than that. For Dishonored 2, we felt compelled to ask ourselves about the history of a given street or shop. What was there a decade before the player arrives in Karnaka? Often, you can see the layers of history, watermarks on the wall from past floods, peeling posters and advertisements from years ago. We want every market, every alley to tell a story and to offer you the chance to see something novel or intriguing. Dishonored 2 starts and ends in Dunwall, but most of the action takes place here in Karnaka. All right, there you go, your first look at Dishonored 2. Thank you. On behalf of all my teammates at Arcane and Leon, who so much for all the passion you've given the game. In the first Dishonored game, you played Corvo Atano, falsely accused of killing the Empress, the woman he loved and was sworn to protect. And you were blamed for the abduction of their daughter, Emily Caldwin. After escaping on the night of his execution, Corvo is gifted with supernatural powers and dedicates himself to avenging the death of the Empress and restoring young Emily to the throne. As we began to work on Dishonored 2, a single question haunted us. What became of Emily Caldwin? How would her experiences affect her and what kind of ruler would she become? We envisioned Emily grown up, 25 years of age, and then we began to imagine what she'd be like as a heroic figure, as someone fighting for her life against the forces of deceit. We developed a vision for Emily Caldwin that excited us, and at E3 last year, we shared that vision with the world. Dishonored 2 is set 15 years after the first game. Emily Caldwin rules the empire watched over by her father, Corvo Atano. Imperial Majesty Emily Caldwin. Loyal subjects, we're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. Emily. You look tired, Father. Every year I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still learning. Don't worry about the rabble-rousers, and we'll catch the crown killer, eventually. People are saying it's you. 
But these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No. Someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. When an otherworldly usurper seizes the throne, the fate of the Empire is left hanging in the balance. Dishonored 2 offers you the choice of playing as Empress Emily Caldwin or the Royal Protector, Corvo Itano. Emily and Corvo are both fully voiced this time with their own perspectives and emotional responses to the events transpiring around them. Whether you choose to play, whoever you choose to play, you've got to flee Donwall, your home, and travel to Karnaka in order to unravel the threads of a conspiracy and take back what's yours. I should talk to the captain of that ship. 